Hi, I'm Ben. I'm Chuck. And this is the Hesitant Homesteader. Today, we're gonna to be talking about our fruit trees and dormant oil sprays. It's the third week of March, and we're just a little bit behind schedule, but the weather's been cold. It's just starting to warm up. It's a beautiful sunny day. There's no rain in the forecast. So we're gonna hit Ben's orchard with some dormant oil spray. several different kinds. Uh, you have natural kind, which would be a neem oil. Uh, this is, comes from uh, the, I believe, from the leaves of a neem tree. Um, the, uh, and then you have a, I believe this is mineral oil yep. style. Um, and uh, so what the, the dormant oil spray does is it's going to help protect the tree from, uh, from insects. Um, and then you also have this little guy in the center is a, a natural copper fungicide. Um, this you typically will do in the fall, and uh, but I did not get to it this fall, so I am going to go ahead and do it in hopes that it will help this year. Yeah, the uh, dormant oil spray, it's, um, it's nothing magical. It's called dormant oil spray because you spray it when your trees are dormant. Um, but it's basically just an oil that you put into a solution with water and the oil um, will coat the bark and the, all of the woody surfaces of the tree and what that does is going to smother out um, things like scale and scab and other like little nasty critters that live in the bark and the buds of your tree and so if you do it now before the tree warms up with the nice weather you'll kill them before they have time uh, a chance to emerge. So the, the neem oil is something you can actually do as a dormant spray. Uh, so you can do that like now when it's cold out. Um, it's also very good for doing throughout the year. Um, so they actually recommend doing this. You can do it every couple, three weeks during the season as well. It, you can coat the leaves and it is non-toxic to the fruit. Um, it's non-toxic if you were to eat it. Um, you know, obviously once you get close to harvest time, you may want to, uh, you know, stop spraying at that point. But the neem oil is something that uh, you can use pretty much year round. And whatever spray you choose to use, whether it's uh, organic or, or traditional spray, um, be sensitive to your pollinators. So when your trees are blossoming and you are looking for your bees and wasps and, and butterflies and so forth that are coming through, hold off on the spraying for that for that little window of time to help protect them. And protect yourself, obviously read all of the labels and do your research. Um, and even if it's neem oil, um, all of these are organic based, but even that being said, I always will wear some goggles and just a pair of gloves because some of these things, they still might irritate your eye. Um, so you just don't wanna rub your eyes or have that overdrift when you're spraying to have the wind catch it and you get a face full of uh, dormant oil spray. So this one's mixed up and we can get started. This is one from my house. I only have uh, four small dwarf trees and so this is just handy for me and we're gonna use this right now. And another tip for when you're mixing, you know, always follow the directions on the, on the labels on these, which is usually on the back, they open up. But this is just a handy little tool you get in that same section. And it's got common, um, it's like a set of measuring cups just for this. Um, I like doing that because it's all connected and it's handy. But I like to keep anything I'm using to mix um, any type of sprays or chemicals separate from any other measuring cups. Don't, just because it's organic, don't think you can grab your measuring cups for in the kitchen and uh, rinse them out real good. I mean, I wouldn't do that. I recommend this. So. 
one big thing to consider when you're going to spray, whether it's your trees or if you're going to be spraying your yard or anything, is you really got to watch the weather. Um, you got to watch, you don't really want to spray right before rain and you don't want to spray if it's windy. Um, we, and that was the other reason why we waited so long this year is because we've had windy day after windy day after windy day here. So you just make sure you got everything coated really well. You do have to uh, be careful a little bit. You wanna, you don't wanna overcoat um, if you're using the copper especially because the copper can accumulate in the soil. Um, so it's not something that, you know, you want to just go out and spray and spray and spray. Um, not to mention the, the uh, copper and everything, it does add up in cost. And subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell and if you have any comments that might help us please please go ahead and put them down there so we can further uh, grow our little homestead thanks for watching see you next time